Okay, I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. I don't have a very good setup to film. As you can see, the light, it's really overcast. I'm in front of a window and this is the best it's gonna get. My kids are in the other room watching TV. We'll see how long they stay quiet. But I've had several people ask me for this, so I'm gonna do my best. So, this is my Vanderspeck Touch Me Senior in Turquoise. Um, and it's wonderful. I love it. It's amazing. Um, I don't have anything in the zipper right now. The zipper pull is from a 1407 Peacock kit. Um, I bought it on a buy sell trade group. I didn't actually get the box, so I'm not sure what month that's from, but it's gorgeous and I love it. Um, I've just got some shop cards and samplers in the front pocket here. Um, and also in here are all my planner Kate samplers that I adore. Um, I don't have anything back here right at this moment. I just kind of stuff whatever in there when I need it, you yeah. um, know. My two pens, I have two Uni Style Fit uh, 3 ink holders. I do color code and I use six colors. So having these, um, they don't have any rubberized anything so they fit in the pen holders without catching and um, I really like how the ink rates. So my dividers that I have right now in my setup are from the Kinley's Doodles July Box. Um, they were an A6 TN box that I cut down and added tabs from Kaden's mom shop on Etsy. Um, I love her little her little tabs. These are the glitter uh, pastels, I believe. Um, and I'll put links down below to everything that I mentioned today. Um, my first section is kind of uh, forward planning and bill paying. Um, this is the Part of the five-year plan book by DIY Fish. I use it to track bills on this side and just sort of random housekeeping things on this side that don't happen every month that aren't you know in my other trackers. Um, so like when I, we change the car oil, when we change the air filter, you know stuff like that. Um, and there's one for each year. There's two pages. This is 2019, 2020, so forth and so on, all the way to. Um, a year overview for 2018 and then um, it's got one line per day all through the 12 months that I use to track um, birthdays anniversaries important dates and that sort of thing and right now I just have 2018 and 2019 in here just to save space um, but I, it is a five-year plan book so I have all the way through 2022 and another binder. I got these off of Wish. Dangerous website. <laughs> but they're just the big wide rose gold paper clips. My month on two page is by Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and I have, I do have a full year of month on two page because this is where I plan out bills. This is where I, when I need to jot down a quick appointment, um, because I only keep so many weeks with me, this is where the majority of my forward planning occurs if it's not on the yearly. So, um, the decorations are all planner Kate, except the word July down here is from a Create 365 book, I think. And then this um, frame is from Sweet Pebble Shop. It's a Hobonichi frame, but it almost fits perfectly and I love it. This, the coffee ones that I have on every month um, is a Dorky Doodles collaboration that Planner Kate did. So that's my monthlies. And then instead of back to back the way they were meant to be printed, I actually stole this from the Peanuts Planner Co. group and printed straight grid on the back. That way, since I do keep a year at a time, I can go ahead and archive previous without losing you know, the page of my month. So there's that, and that just goes all the way through to July of 2019, um, which as you can see, doesn't have much in it, but you know, 
Um, and then my weekly. This is um, DR144 from Peanuts Planner Co. It's one of her new releases. It is a week on one page with tracker and notes. So, um, week on one page. The weather stickers are from Sweet Pebble Shop. The date stickers are from Planner Kate. Um, this isn't a really great example of one. I haven't really done any of my planning for this week yet. Um, but there's that. Um, and then I have for my cleaning specifically, this is also a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. It is the three weeks per page. Um, ah, shadow. Go away, shadow. Um, it is the three weeks per page insert, and I just happen to love it because it is, um, exactly how many lines I need for my cleaning tracker. So, there's that. Um, another Peanuts Planner Co. insert is the menu and workout tracker. Um, and it has a hydration and where you can keep track of macros. I am going to play with that this week. I don't usually use it, but I'm going to play with it and see what I think. Um, and then I use her... I actually don't remember which insert this is. I will put it in the box down below. It might be the two days per page vertical, but I'm not sure. Um, but I use it for groceries. So there's that. And then for a daily, ah, I'm having issues. I actually have um, torn up a Hobonichi um, A6. And I have just a couple of months in here of the daily pages. I love the Hobonichi. I love the idea of the Hobonichi. I don't use a daily planner as a planner. I use my dailies as journaling. Um, and I love the thin Tomoe River paper. So I just, I had tried to make a Hobonichi work earlier this year. It didn't work. So rather than get rid of it, I just tore it up and punched it and stuck it in here. And now I have the best of both worlds. Um, I'm actually almost out. I need to put in some more and then for notes the first page i have is the peanuts planner co insert checklist so that i can keep track of my obsession and then i have some notes inserts on smaller river paper from agenda shop and then what i've done is the days that i've missed journaling so that i don't waste the paper i've actually just pulled those out and stuck them back in my notes section um so that i have them to just scribble on as needed and here's some uh just graph pages from my diy fish inserts um that i kind of go back and forth with so there is that and then my son got into my last page as you can tell um Kinley's Doodles, oh my gosh, the July box was just gorgeous. Um, and then for this, I use this to um, track when my husband's on the road, he drives a truck. Um, sorry, this keeps going out of frame. I'm trying to follow the light. <laughs> um, and I use Skinny Washi just to track when he's on the road. That way I can track his miles and when he gets paid and that sort of thing. Um, and then my next tab is a health tab, and this is also a Peanuts Planner Co. insert, and I just use it to track my kids' doctor visits and that sort of thing. And then I repurposed the Peanuts Planner Co. checklist because I had um, bariatric surgery earlier this year, and it just so happened that I started almost at 300 pounds. Um, which she, her, her, the second page of the tracker goes up to 300. So I just sort of saw that and repurposed it as a weight loss tracker. And these um, transparent circle dot stickers are also Planner Kate, as are the labels. <laughs> Almost all of my stickers are Planner Kate. Um, so I've got that to keep track. And then I also took a graph page from my Hobonichi to track my weight that way. And then I have the Peanuts Planner Co. body measurements that I need to transfer. I was keeping them digitally and I didn't like it and I still haven't transferred them over. And then 
Um, this is the fold out year from, again, Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I'll be tracking my son's school attendance on this. We do school at home um, through an online private academy. So um, I do have to keep track of things like attendance and, and records and that sort of thing that I have to send them. Um, and then this is going to be, I think this is going to be our lesson planner. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it might be a little small. So we'll have to see how that goes. School starts in a couple weeks and I might be moving to something else. Um, and then I have, oh, that's an Annie plan. Okay, my time has just run out with my kids. Um, this is an Annie plans insert, but from what I can tell, she doesn't have this one available anymore. She has a slightly different purchase tracker insert. It doesn't quite look the same um, as this one, at least not that I could find on the website. So uh, I love it. It's just a quick way to take a look at what you've got. And then this is her coupon code insert as well. Um, just a way to track any coupon codes that you might have. Um, and again, that's Annie plans. Um, in the back here, of course, I have my cards, and then I've got some Simply Gorgeous uh, by Centauro of London die cuts. If you aren't familiar with this line, you'll love them. Um, some receipts, and then back here, I have those frames by Hobonichi, or by Sweet Pebble Shop for the Hobonichi. So that is my flip through. Um, it's definitely chunky, but not beyond something that I'm willing to carry, obviously. So there we go. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.